behave like that? Uh, probably, no. I, I think it was m more so my friends. Mm -hmm. I had about uh, three or four or five friends mm -hmm. that I was really close with and everyone else I hated. <laughs> and they, they, they had the same thoughts. Oh, we all, yeah, yeah, exactly. So it was like a, like a pack. I see. And, but, but it was like Lord of the Flies. Did you read that book? Yes. Uh, it's, it's like that because each one of us started dropping off and oh, okay. one by one. Did you have rather, did you rather book before yeah. being in those groups or it was like an influence? It was, yeah. Well, not really. No, it was just a comparison. reference, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> Or like you're in the business now, you, so people are expecting you to be to behave like the rock stars they know. I mean, like an asshole, yeah. <laughs> like like an asshole, maybe. But I mean, <laughs> today don't don't do they get disappointed when they know that you would not really like that? Uh, I I don't know. I think a lot of people expect yeah expect you to come out and be uh, ham. Sure. You know, like make, uh, make faces and mm -hmm. things like that and. Mm -hmm. That's great and everything, but uh, you can only do that for so long. Do you, do you think? How do you see yourself or the band in the in the music scene? Because since you're not, you don't have the same attitude that the whole rock, the, the majority of rock bands have. Uh, I mean, you're a little bit different, so you don't, you never want to be like a big band like those assholes. No, I think it's do. great, but I just, uh, I don't like. It's for most bands, I think it's like a package. Hmm. They. Uh, they become big and a lot of people start liking them they think they have to behave a certain way. They think they have to take sure. a lot of drugs and you know, play the whole game. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, I'm not very good at it, but that's all I can say. I haven't figured it out yet. My hair does not stand up very well. Uh, I don't look that good with makeup on. Uh, I can't, I can't, I don't have, I can't move like, like that, you know. Uh -huh. <laughs> but the thing is, uh, these people do that just because, of, just because of their major. I mean, this no, it's a formula. It's uh, if, uh, like, say, Guns N' Roses, they're really big. Mm -hmm. A lot of bands, especially American bands, mm -hmm. um, hear Guns N' Roses. The it's it's association. They think uh, if we sound like that and we look like that, we're going to be big too. And uh, so a lot of bands try and do that. I think I think we're more nice. Uh, guys, I don't think we're like bad guys like Guns N' Roses, like throwing beer bottles and stuff. I think we're more like Aha mm. or or New Kids. I think we're very straight ahead. I think it's very normal, don't you think? Uh, you don't you don't regret being too famous now or as famous famous enough to be bothered to people. Do you regret what happened to the band now? No. You know, but you never. On the other hand, you never thought about being a, a star as, as big as you you are now. No. Well, it, you guys don't really know the whole spectrum here in Brazil. I must say. So we're, what is it? We're not this big everywhere else. <laughs> oh. but, but, I mean, no one really likes us this much. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. It's true. I'm telling you. <laughs> but, I mean, you are more... I mean, you, you might not be Guns N' Roses, but, I mean, you're not, like, a totally unknown band, even in, in the United States. Not totally unknown, but we... Uh, it's not like this. Yo! If you're not that big, how much bigger are you there? How good is that? Well, I think uh, American people uh, are used to a lot of things. Mm -hmm. In America, there's lots of TV, lots of media, millions of bands, mm -hmm. uh, and they're used to uh, getting hit in the face with uh, all this stuff. And so they come very cold and very skeptical when mm -hmm. they look at things like this. And uh, you have to really pound them in the head. Mm -hmm. You have to get underneath the skin yeah. and, uh, in order to affect them. And that's what we had to do. We did a million tours in America. We toured for like two years, like I said, on one record. And we started off like playing bowling alleys and mm -hmm. pizza parlors and places like that. And uh, it just takes a long time. You have to really beat yourself over the head. But it, you have to just be real persistent and be really obnoxious. Would you say that maybe European artists they are more open to bands like you? Because it toured that there too. Yeah, and the that's reaction. where we broke first, like Europe and exactly and, and England, especially. Exactly, especially like British people. Are they more open to I new think. bands, new acts? I think maybe, yeah. But it was the same there, to tell you the truth. I mean, we we uh, you know played really small places, and mm -hmm. you have to keep coming back. 
because you build up to a certain level and then you leave sure. and if you stay away too long people forget that's right so you have to keep coming back and stay in their face and stay in their face like you have to be a real pest how, how many times you have to be like a mosquito <laughs> and then people uh they have to pay when a mosquito is flying around you for uh a long period of time you have to pay attention to it sure that's our philosophy <laughs>